Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so, um, yeah, I'm here on a very rainy, rainy, it feels very springish, even though it's really summer right now, but it feels like spring. And I've been outside cleaning the backyard, and I have a ton of laundry to do today. And um, I was uh, just looking at my shirt and then looking at a, a palette that's new to me and well this is kind of what happened and I was thinking about festival season you know and going to the concerts and everything and so this is what happened so um, I guess we'll go ahead and get started I started off with the glow oil by Supergoop it has an SPF of 50 in it uh, next I went ahead and used the Oma this is the one that you can get in Walmart it's Oma by Sharon C and I have T2 and I did go ahead and redo my self tan uh, using the Bondi Sands a Technicolor one and the Sapphire one which is for fair skin so that you don't go orange and um, so I think that worked out really well it it's really it uh, it takes you quite a few shades darker so it's very effective is what I'm trying to say and then as far as blush when I went ahead and did today was the essence uh, this one is bold heart so that's the way that that looks and that's what I have on there I went ahead and used the flexitarian um, by Colourpop as well and uh, Let's see, as far as bronzer, I don't think I've done any, but we can do some real quick here. Um, I have the Wet n Wild. This is the Bikini Contest, and it has a lot of red in it, so it works pretty well for me. And as far as brush here, uh, this one is one of the BS Small ones. In these, you can get over on Amazon. And I like these because they are pretty dense, and so they give you a lot of control over where product is going. So, there we go as far as some bronzer on this look. As far as lipstick, I went ahead and used ColourPop liner and Oh Snap, their lippy pencil, and then another uh, Sharon or Oma by Sharon C. Um, this is uh, it's complicated that you can put both on the cheeks and on the lips, and so that's what I have on the lips today. And uh, let's see, as far as what I did on the eyes. Uh, this is a new palette to me. It's a Profusion Dreamscape. And um, I had actually gotten it a little while ago, and it ended up working really well as far as um, doing some of the yucca. Or um, Natasha Denona put out a palette called Yucca, and um, it it has some yellow tones and some duochromes that actually work really good for that look. And um, I noticed all the pastels in here, and they're pretty mid-tone, all of them, but I was going ahead and playing around with them, and so, um, yeah, this is what I ended up with. Um, I have this really pretty blue on the inner corner, and then I have a combination of um, this is such yeah, this one is actually a green and a yellow together. Yeah, that's the next one. And then after that, I have the periwinkle blue over here. And then I have some of the purple. And it actually turned into a really murky kind of look. Um, I then went ahead and used this ColourPop. This is one of their uh, actual eyeshadow sticks and so I went ahead and used that around here so that I could get a little bit more emphasis. Uh, this one actually has a lot of shine to it and so I went all the way around the eye 
and up around the eyebrow and I think it looks kind of fun I mean makeup is fun because it washes off right so this way that the eye look came out and um, so I thought yeah uh, for a very murky day uh, really it's gonna rain every five minutes kind of day it kind of turned out kind of fun so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, get it on film um, let's see, what else did I use? The NYX Thicket Stick It, and this is in the Coolash, uh, yeah, Coolash Brown. And then I also went ahead and used the Essence Volume Stylist. This is the 18 hour wear. This one is a tubing mascara, and you can get it over at Ulta. Uh, Profusion, you can go ahead and get over at Walmart. And I know that they have some new stuff coming out, so I'm looking forward to that. And then, um, why don't we go ahead and do a finishing powder on this. And we'll go ahead and do the Catrice Sungasm here. Um, and I'm trying to brush. Yeah, it really does kind of match my tie-dye, sort of. <laughs> so, um, this is, a. Uh, let's see, what are these? The Real Techniques brushes? Yeah. And we'll see how it looks here. With the graphic liner kind of being around. And people doing different things with graphic liners and jewels, you know, stuck here and there. I thought it would be kind of fun to do something a little bit different. And so that's kind of what this is. So, um, let's finish it off with uh, some of the fourth ray. This is a sister company to ColourPop, and it's their Glisten Up Spray. Oh. So, there we go. got a sparkly murky kind of look kind of a kind of feeling like the ocean kind of look and uh, yeah that it would be kind of fun and kind of different and um, that's uh, looks like that's the video for today and so thank you and have a great day oh yeah um, I did redid the self tanner so that's why <laughs> um, it, you can actually get this off. Um, if you take oil, if you have an oil cleaner, and you use that a couple of times, and some uh, Dawn dishwashing soap, you can get this off. I'm about halfway there. I still have a little ways to go. Um, but it is, well, it happens when I self-tan. So anyway, uh, that's the video, and I'll see you later, and bye.